Hey guys, this is Tonin. Today we're going to be talking about one of the best and worst secret layers ever. Um, so this was just announced today. It is incredibly <laughs> interesting. I actually love it. Um, I know there's people out there who are going to hate it and are going to get so tilted by it. Uh, before we get into it though, make sure you guys do subscribe. We're trying to hit 2000 subscribers at the moment. We've had a huge leap lately with all the leaks and stuff like that and covering those. Uh, this is another version of the videos that I do where I cover the new secret layers and stuff like that. And I do it you know, pretty quickly, just kind of go blitz through, show you the value and stuff like that, and talk a little bit about what I think of the art. So this is the new one. Uh, and as you will see, it is freaking hilarious. So first of all, these are all like pretty salt inducing kind of cards, um, or, you know, pretty kind of, you know, decent kind of cards. Um, I, I like a lot of them, like Ruination's really good, Torment of Hailfire, really good, Massacre, really decent, uh, Doomblade. There's decent reprints in here too. Uh, the interesting thing as well is that the art is freaking baller. These are like the best art I've seen in like, I don't, know, I don't know. These are like, you know, full on like Commander Masters full art kind of thing. They're, I love them. But <laughs> as you can see, and we'll zoom in for a little bit in a second, um, the the actual text is hilarious. So these are called Sans Mercy, apparently. And as you can see, the text is in Comic Sans. It is capitalized all freaking randomly. Uh, if I play this against you, people are going to... There are people who are potentially going to jump across the board and stab me because of the fact that um, they are so salt inducing um I, I absolutely love them so let's go into all the reprints so first of all we've got torment of hailfire insanely good reprint like this is a 19 dollars 35 card currently torment of hailfire um i gotta double check that did i get that right because i am surprised that they are reprinting a such a great card in here um that's the list version yep 1935 um well, look at that. If, if someone plays this against you, not only because it's fact, it's just going to deal a huge amount of damage to you, um, but also it's, <laughs> it's going to commit like mental damage because of the, the random capitalization in it. Uh, there are people who are potentially not even going to be able to read these properly because of the fact that it's randomly capitalized. If you've got like the dyslexia or something like that, you may struggle with it. Uh, the rap random capitalization and stuff. It's just so good. We've got Doomblade here, a cheaper kind of reprint here. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the art is just amazing. I love the art. I love the art on it. They're really great. Uh, and yeah, this is a cheap reprint though, only 22 cents. We've got Massacre, another cheap reprint, 48 cents. If an opponent controls a planes and you can tr <laughs> They don't even write you completely. They just they just write the letter U. Control a swamp. You may cast this spell without paying its mana cost. All creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. We've got Ruination, which I honestly, if if I'm going to pick this up, I might even just pick up the single of this one, just to add into my um into my uh, Yuma deck. Destroy all non-basic lands. Ouchie, wow, wow, please don't cry. Even the flavor text is so good. Um, yeah, that's a decent reprint again, 574. And then we've got Mogus, God of Slaughter. I don't think this has re been reprinted since its initial release, ages and ages back. Um, I think it was like the gods, one of the gods kind of things. Uh, as long as your devotion to black, as long as your, you are, uh, devotion to black and red is less than seven, Mogus Mogus isn't a creature. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, Mogus deals two damage to that creature to that player unless they sacrifice a creature. And then it's got a little freaking lol down here. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so good. Oh, I absolutely love them. Uh, so this is obviously meant to be like a um a April Fool's Day. They posted it as April uh, Happy May Day or something like that over on uh their um YouTube page. Uh and the prints are decent like this is like i'm not i'm talking non-foils don't get these in foil i hate the foils for secret layers they always bend and you know pringle so easily and i just like the flat art for them either way the non-foils three dollars uh, sorry 33 dollars 91 in um you know, in value here, this is pretty kind of decent value here. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you hate them? Do you love them? Do you hate that you love them? Do you love that you hate them? Um, what do you guys think overall? They're just, 
These are such baller cards. They're so great. Let me know down in the comments. Have a great day and goodbye.